Sorry, my mic. Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So, just to make sure, Supreme, you think body positivity is too far, right? Uh, yeah. And Dalap, you think body positivity is not too far? Dalap? Yeah, sorry, I have mic issues, but yeah. Yes to the yes to my question. So you think body positivity is not too far? Hello. Sorry, I don't think it's gone too far. I'm really sorry. You don't think it's going too far, or it's not? No, no, she's saying, yeah, she, she's opposed. Okay, she's opposed to body positivity is going too far. Okay, cool. So, um, who want, do you, which one of you guys wants to, do, like, like, go first, and then the other one will refute it? Um, you can go first if you'd like. <laughs> um, all right. Um, <clears throat> I think in the past decade or so, there's been definitely a very large increase in like the push for like the acceptance of I guess plus size people with the addition of like plus size models and stuff like that which is somewhat justifiable because there's definitely a big problem with like the modeling industry with like anorexia and also like the very low pay for like how tough it is to go through that stuff yeah but um with uh, heart disease being like, a, it's either, I know it's in the top five, and I think it might be the number one cause of death in the US today. Wait, okay. Yeah, so it is. Before you finish that thought, there's a quick change in the stage name and top. Are you still there? So um, we're changing it to Does posi Body Positive um, Promote an Unhealthy Life? Am I the only one who can't hear him? Me? Oh, you just like me. Oh, you stopped your. Po oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he started talking. Um, so basically, I understand your point. Uh, as to why, as to why body body positivity might encourage things such as obesity and how obviously obesity is the number one killer in America. Um, but I'd also like to say at those points, body positivity like does not apply like to the points of ex being extremely underweight to the point where you're anorexic or extremely overweight like over 200 pounds etc then you definitely need to go to a doctor i'm talking about how body positivity can encourage those people to not feel more miserable than they already feel um like the example you gave me with a extremely overweight person uh, they probably got to that point with a combination of like eating too much and you know how there's like uh, conditions where you can't stop eating caused by depression, anxiety, etc. They already got to that point where they're fat and they feel bad about themselves because everyone's judging them. But we don't know what's going on in their personal life. What if they're losing weight, but it's obviously not visible? Body positivity allows them to be comfortable with their current body during the process of them possibly trying to lose weight instead of people shaming them, which has been proven to not help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the topic itself is a little iffy because, I mean, I, I agree to some extent, like, PTSD. I know I've, I've like, read a lot of the people with PTSD and then, yeah, I guess, like, like stress eating, like, eating, like, I guess with like processed foods and just like mm -hmm. there's I guess today there's like a lot more like very like tasty like unhealthy food that's just like very like it's cheaper than like salad or whatever like you can go to the store you can get instant ramen instead of going to the grocery store and just getting like something you can actually cook for yourself and then like yeah it's way easier yeah. to gain weight because of like economic issues I get it um <laughs> yeah i mean i just think that there's overall like there's i think it's a like a loud minority maybe but it's like a push for like justifying like the acceptance of it and like or like the acceptance of like overly overweight people or just like in general that like you should find it attractive or something like i mean like, that's like a very 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 small minority i, think, I but, see 
So you agree with the points? Like you, you don't think the body extent. positivity has gone too far, or no? I, I think yeah. No, I would still agree that it has. I think yeah. Could you like provide an <laughs> argument or example, etc.? Yeah. Um, I don't think it's it's pretty. It's kind of like a bare bones topic, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that was. I think what resonates with me is people think that the body acceptance, the body positivity movement, sorry, has gone, is like telling people who are completely overweight that it's fine. And like you said previously in your statement, that's obviously just the loud minority. And I think people have started to come out with a phrase where it's like, you're beautiful at every size, but you're not healthy at every size, meaning that you can, you should feel good in your own skin if you're slightly overweight and people may see you as, you should still feel confident in yourself. However, you should know when to lose weight, which is why I don't think it's gone too far, as we obviously do warn people, uh, as opposed to what you're saying, which is you think it's gone out of hand. Mm -hmm. Well, I think just in general, like, I don't know, I, like the glorification of it to some degree. Like, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with like more magazines pushing it, no, I'm not, okay, that that's that yeah, that, that's that's wrong. I'm pushing it, but actually no, because that's that, that doesn't really to say that like there shouldn't be like plus size models because I guess there should be to a degree, but there is like a an extent where it is like it's kind of kind of weird, and then it's like I see. So you're, you're setting like you're yeah, because I think just in general, like you shouldn't. I think that like people in general should accept, you know, they shouldn't just like question people. Like, say, like, like if you see someone, you know, obviously you don't know what they're going through. So, or like why they might be the way they are, why they might have gained all that weight, etc. But I don't think that there should be any like anything at all that's like saying like that, that like that it is acceptable or that it could be acceptable because obviously it's like. You just it, it's just adding on to the I think it's a very small portion, but it still is something that can be talked about or to debate about in this instance. And um, that's like the normalization. I, I wouldn't say the full normalization of it, but it definitely has become more like uh, So your issue is with like glorification that can be seen on magazines and et cetera? Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing you're assuming to you know who Tess Holiday is. I guess that's who you're referring to. She's <laughs> no, like oh um she's a plus size now. model and she was on Cosmo uh Cosmetolid. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm not um it's obviously not a UK I mean it's obviously not a magazine sort in the UK, but she was on a cover and that caused a lot of controversy. And I do have a rebuttal to that, which is that mm -hmm. uh so my opinion on overly weight people being on magazines is the same as people is the same opinion as people have seeing overly skinny people being on magazines. I don't think that should be glorified and I've seen people from the body positivity movement stating that because it makes people feel bad about their body, which is why the body positivity movement was created because for years models who have been underweight and had to starve themselves have been glorified and presented as like the iconic body that every woman should have and the mm -hmm. same goes with men men who take steroids who have buffed themselves exercised an unhealthy amount have been put in front of magazines and posed as this is what the idealistic man should be which i disagree a super skinny person should not be on the magazine and a super overweight person who genuinely needs to see a doctor should also not be on the magazine Body positivity is about accepting bodies, but not glorifying something that can potentially kill you. And what that means is, if a woman is slightly overweight, it's okay to be on. It's okay for her to be on a magazine because that makes other women who are slightly overweight feel like, "Hey, I look like her, and it's okay because she's out there looking beautiful on a magazine, and I can do the same." Same with women who are slightly underweight. I kind of lean on the slightly skinny side, so I've heard all like the skinny jokes and stuff. Um, they might not be extremely skinny, but seeing someone slightly underweight or someone with uh, stretch marks or someone with discoloration on their skin can definitely make people feel seen. Body positivity, I feel like people misunderstand, is not just about weight. It's also about uh, 
stretch marks, um, disabilities, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in like, I guess to refute your argument, like, because you said, and I quote, like, that like people that are a little overweight, but to like to have Tess Holiday on the cover, it's like for anybody that's in the chat that didn't look her up or or that like can see or like just looking at Google images now, it's like just a bit excessive, you know. Yeah, I see what you mean. But I like I said previously, like we don't know whether she's losing weight and telling her that she's she's fat, that she shouldn't be on a magazine cover. Do you really think that's the best way to encourage her to eat healthier, lose weight and get back to a healthier body? I mean, I don't really see an alternative. I mean, I think a lot of so people... So you're saying fat no, shaming well, <laughs> No, no, what I was going to say that is like, there's like a very, I think what a lot of people today do... Or I think what like a lot of people who would argue like I'm like a much harder angle than I am right now would be like a lot more. I'm, I'm losing my point. I'm losing my train of thought rather. But like, yeah, I I I don't think fat shaming is the way to go. I think yeah. So what I was saying actually was that I think a lot of people are, are coming at it at like a much harder angle, and that like they're they're saying that like it's okay to be much harsher and like the fat shaming, but. I think that you should not, you should, A, like, not glorify it and not present it at, at all as, like, a as like a normal thing, because it shouldn't be. You're significantly increased rates of, people like that have ex significantly increased rates of chances of getting, like, heart disease and diabetes, etc. And with so much, like, with fast food and everything being so cheap and so readily available to so many people, I think it shouldn't be posed as like an acceptable option i think that people it should be pushed more that people should really strive to get the best food they can or not necessarily that but to stay in the best shape they can and that it isn't necessarily like normal to slip out of like that groove and or i guess yeah. it could be normal well, because then there comes mental health so it is a very twisted thing but yeah do you also yeah. share that opinion with skinnier models that we already see on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, I think that that's also a pretty big issue. I think that that's definitely a big, um, big reason for why there's a lot more um, like mental illness and, or not mental illness, but like eating disorders in um, teenage girls today because they have to see that and then they have to really say it all on social media and they're thinking, oh, wow, I have to look like this. And then they just, or, and it just like develops the uh, like the disorders like anorexia, bulimia, anemia, oh. etc. So you agree that like normal bodies that are actually attainable should be what should be shown in magazines and stuff. Yes, but also no, because magazines are a good, and for them to be consumed. Well, it, it, yeah, so <laughs> from a more economic standpoint with the magazines, they want to sell the magazines. And obviously people want to see someone on the cover of the magazine. So I think if they were going to put someone on the magazine that they like, that is going to sell more copies, then that's then they should do that if they want obviously a, a higher profit margin. But I think it's immoral to put like skinny, like the, like, I don't know, like a Victoria's Secret people who are like stars themselves so you think that it's okay for corporations to put these slightly skinnier non-attainable model like bodies on the cover of magazines because it earns them more money but did you know that the cover of tess holiday and the cosmopolitan also earned them a bunch of money because people were seeing a different body size on the cover and people were surprised so according to your logic you wouldn't mind if an excessively unhealthy well, no, weight person <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm still arguing against. It. I'm saying it's immoral. They shouldn't do it, but sure, if they want to, it's a, it's a free market. They can do whatever they want, as long as it's within the, the rights of the law. I, I guess. Mm, okay, I'm not really sure else to take this. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is pretty. Yeah. 
All right. Um, host. <laughs> can you, wait, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. Is he, is he alive? I'm going to move you guys down to the audience. Wait, can you guys hear me? 